Luke here and today we are at a foggy river to see if we can go crappie fishing out here. I've heard reports of some crappie being caught out here and there are brush piles. I don't know if it's going to pick this one up. But there's a tree right over there and there's all kinds of fallen trees all down through this river. And the crappie are basically moving up. Um, there's some deep holes in here too that are really surprising. If you see how wide this river is, would you believe that there's 20 foot holes in here? It, it's crazy how deep of holes are in here, but these crappie are basically right where the bank's going up usually, right where that drop off is. Those, those brush piles or those trees are laying down over the water and those crappie go up and sit right on the bottom of them. And you can basically take a jig or a minnow right on the outside edges and just drop it down and catch some. So we're gonna go out here and see if we can't catch some on a morning where I have not seen a single person and I am so surprised, like, look at that brush pile right there. I mean, that is the perfect spot to be holding crappie because it's just a straight up drop off. But let's get on over to these trees and see if we can catch some and maybe, just maybe today might be a good day for filling a stringer. All right, guys, we're up here on our first set of trees right along the outside of this channel we got three of them right here that we can jig like crazy. And I've got this little bitty, I think this is a 1 16th ounce jig head, I believe. And then I've got a, a Bass Pro Shops Crappie Max right there. And I am gonna juice it up a little bit. I don't know if this helps, but I've got all these minnows in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip it down in there. Kind of like scent. I know those minnows are living in there in that water so might as well do that and see if that kind of provides a little masking scent I don't know oh man there is tree everywhere down there I don't even know I'm probably gonna get hung up I can already see that happening There's definitely some kind of current moving through here. Oh, there was something that just popped right over there. I would like to use a minnow in here, but, oh, is that already a bite right there? I would like to use a minnow in here, but I'm kind of afraid that it would get wrapped up in this brush pile. one right there got one that's a good one too I switched I got hung up and switched over to that color and that puppy nailed it nice that's a good one too yeah big old fatty throw that over the side here on the minnow oh it's a bass bass took it dang it oh I gotta cut him off
a big old crappie. Oh my gosh. That was a big crappie. Dang. They're hitting it down there. They're hitting it. I found them. I found a school of them, I think. There's a bunch of fish down there. That I don't know if that was a crappie or not. It's almost as soon as it hits down there. What is hitting this thing? Let's give it a little dip. something right there what we got big old crappie yeah they in here they wanted that minnow dang how the heck am I gonna stay in place here I'm gonna have to back off of them that's exactly what I'm gonna have to do I am literally on top of them. There's number two. Let's get the board just to check. He is a 11 incher. Ah, uh, you flopper. This way I can stay off of them. Because it seems like they're right on the edge of that tree right there. And if this is the case, <laughs> this might be a really good way of start getting into them without spooking them and they might just stay as a school. All right, we got an anchor down. I got hung up. And so now, we're going to toss right back in here. We're far enough away that hopefully these fish won't be all spooked by me. I did just break off. I got to go get that bobber here in a little bit. But hoping we can keep this minnow right on the edge of that brush pile right there and see if any will come up and smack it. Bobber down, bobber down. Oh, was that a big one? Oh, bass. Dang it. Thought that was a big old crappie. Man. It's been a grind out here today, guys. Uh, just went back to the brush pile where we fought cro our first crappie and I did get a couple bites, but nothing came up. I, I'm thinking it might've been panfish. So I'm gonna go back up to the tree right over here and throw out the minnows and see if maybe those fish have moved back in but if not we got brush piles on back up to the boat ramp so we'll just keep heading back up and jig those and see if we can get into some more crappie Well, I give it my best shot out here on the river, and there's some good crappie in this river right here. I'm taking home three. They're going to be a little, you know, fish fry some night. Uh, it's only six fillets. It's not a whole lot, but I try to keep them as fresh as I can, but they're all in here in the cooler. So 
get them home cut them up get them ready in the freezer and the boat came through and the minnows came through but maybe i can come back out here and try it again with minnows i'm not sure if these fish were exactly schooling and staying together because it seems like when you would catch one is no no more and it's not like i was spooking them or you know making them take off i don't know what was going on if it was just individual crappie i've never known them to be individuals and always be in schools but i don't know let me know in the comment section guys what you think maybe i don't know it's kind of weird on the river this time of the year if they just haven't moved up into here yet from the main lake but thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next one